Now that we have a baby, I've been thinking about building some sort of baby soothing device, uh, basically a rocking machine. And I need a low speed motor for that, some kind of gearhead motor. And I was thinking maybe this old cordless drill, battery's long gone in that, and to run it off a benchtop power supply. And that is close to the right speed, but it's very loud and these brush motors would wear out very quickly. So then I was thinking maybe some kind of AC gearhead motor, for instance like this one. And this one runs at a good speed, but the problem is it's not meant for continuous duty. But then I realized I have this gearbox from an old drill, and I've already experimented with putting a pulley on here. This used to be the motor shaft. This flat belt, which is actually from an old 8-track player, and it needs crown pulleys to track, so I made a couple out of plywood. And then we put the belt over both of these. And this is cool how flat belts track on top of the crown. I made a whole video about that effect. So this produces a pretty slow motion and it's not too loud. In fact, if I picked up the motor, it's even quieter. Um, but I want this to actually ideally run even slower because I'd like to have a cam on here so I can produce more complicated motion patterns for the baby. So maybe this turntable motor might actually be enough power and this motor only draws about 8 watts when it's running and it's super quiet. I just cut out a smaller pulley and now I need to sand the crown onto it. Unfortunately it's a bit too loose so I'm going to try to get it tighter by putting some plastic foil in the hole. That's fairly tight. I need to put the motor on this side to spin the drill this way because otherwise this spiral gear is just going to make this part pop out. So I may just barely have enough power here. So I need to somehow rigidly mount this thing and I've made this bracket so far but then I realized it might actually be much better to have this a little bit further off of a base so I could put a bigger cam on here. Maybe if I mount it like this. And so I made this bracket here that goes on here. And then a spacer brings this up like so. I was starting to doubt whether this motor has enough power, so I switched to this motor. This one does draw about three times as much power, but it has much more power in the output. And it's also fairly quiet. But it's twice the RPM, so I had to make a much smaller pulley, especially because I wanted to go for a lower RPM. So let's see how that works. It's pretty good. A reasonable amount of torque. And I was also thinking it would be good to have some kind of support for this shaft right here and I found this bushing that just fits. And so I made this holder for it. Bushing goes in here. And then a washer and a screw to make sure that bushing doesn't come out. Well that's working a bit better but it's a bit loud and I think imprecise bearings like this could really use a bit of grease. Nothing like grease for uh, things with play in them. I just don't want to get my wood too dirty. Oh yeah, that's better already. Cool thing is, I have a two-speed gearbox. Okay, before I get too fancy, I thought I'd just try it out with a crank. See if this thing works at all. Now I need to make some rockers for the bassinet. It would be easier to just put a bigger block in the middle, but by applying the uh, bending moment at the end, I actually get a curve that's much closer to circular this way. Thank you. 
wow, it actually works. <laughs> well, it's been a week since I built this and we end up using this quite a lot. So I modified it so it fits mostly underneath the bassinet and it even anchors to one of the runners so it doesn't slide around and I had to add a little fan here to keep this motor from overheating. And here it is set in high gear and configured for a large swing. I think we'll save that mode for emergencies.